This is Abdul Ghaffar Lango, a prominent Baloch nationalist activist. Lango was abducted on 11th December 2009 by a group of unknown men outside a hospital in Karachi. His body was found after two years with marks of brutal torture. Lango is only one of the many Baloch victims of the kill and dump operations by Pakistani security forces. Recent strikes by Pakistan and Iran in each other's territory have brought the Baloch struggle back into the limelight. It is therefore crucial to understand who the Baloch people are and their struggle for independence. The Baloch are a large pastoral group who moved into their present homeland around the 11th century. Living primarily in the region on the southernmost edge of the Iranian plateau, they are a Sunni Muslim ethnic minority. Spread across three countries, around 70% of the Baloch people reside in Pakistan's Balochistan, with 20% living in Iran's Sistan Balochistan and the rest in Afghanistan. There are almost 15 million Baloch people worldwide, making their population larger than that of several countries. They share a unique cultural, ethnic, linguistic and religious identity. However, they face discrimination in both Pakistan and Iran, where they predominantly reside. Balochistan is the largest Pakistani province. Ever since it came under Pakistan's control in 1948, the province has had a troubled relationship with the country. The accession of the region was considered unfair by the Baloch and led to demands for autonomy. A significant driver of this conflict is the ethnic difference between the Baloch and the dominant Punjabi ruling class of Pakistan. Apart from cultural discrimination, Balochistan continues to be the poorest region of the country despite its rich resources. While Balochistan accounts for nearly 40% of Pakistan's gas production, Islamabad does not provide natural gas to the province's civilian population. Moreover, despite being an essential part of the China-Pakistan economic corridor, the region continues to be impoverished. Such cultural discrimination and economic exploitation have led to the rise of insurgencies which are met with government crackdowns. According to estimates, over 7,000 individuals from Balochistan are missing. Human rights groups report that Pakistan is engaged in the torture, forced disappearances and extrajudicial killings of Baloch civilians in the name of suppressing terrorism. The circumstances of the Baloch people on the other side of the border are not very different. Sistan Balochistan is the second largest but least developed province of Iran. Under successive regimes, the Baloch have faced marginalization and repression. They have borne the brunt of discrimination under the erstwhile Pahlavi monarchy and continue to be exploited under the current theocracy of Iranian Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khomeini. Under the Pahlavi rulers, the Balochi language was banned from being used in schools and government offices. Furthermore, Iran has attempted to change the demographic of the region in a bid to dilute the Baloch identity by settling Iranian people in Sistan Balochistan. As per reports, the Iranian government has also refused to provide identity documents to the Baloch people. Labeling them foreigners, the government often threatens Baloch residents with deportation. Additionally, under the country's Persian-centric system, the names of historic Baloch areas have been forcibly changed. As part of the systematic oppression, Balochi protests demanding equality of cultural, political and economic rights are termed anti-religious by the government. And activism for the Baloch cause is categorized as an act of enmity against God. The insurgency by Baloch nationalists against the torture and repression they face in Pakistan and Iran has sustained over time, with demands for a greater Balochistan state. People on both sides continue to face oppression because of their identity. While the world views the recent Iranian and Pakistani strikes on the Baloch region through the lens of bilateral tensions, it may be time to reckon with the long-standing plight of the people most affected herein.